What's up, everybody? My name is Anthony Irvin. You beat yourself? Yeah. Yeah, see me myself. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. I'm Jim Green. <laughs> Don't even need that hit of <laughs> traffic light. <laughs> okay, good. Welcome to One Set. Have you ever wanted to start your podcast but didn't know where to start? The One Set Bros are here to talk to you about Zencaster. Zencaster is the ultimate based podcasting solution and now the only one podcasting platform making podcasting easy. They've sure made it easy for us to be able to record our podcast and our episodes every week for you guys. Once you've set up your account, you're simply one click away from recording a high quality podcast with studio quality sound and up to 4K video with your guests. My personal favorite feature is their multi-layer backups, which ensure our recordings are always in the highest quality, even during unstable web connections. And if you thought you needed multiple tools and services for your podcast, Zencaster's only one podcasting platform allows you to create your podcast all in one place and distribute to Spotify, Apple, and other major destinations. Go to Zencaster.com slash pricing and use our code one set pod and you'll get 30% off your first month of any Zencaster paid plan. I want you to have the same easy experience as we do with all our podcasting and content needs. It's time to share your story. What's up, everybody? How we doing? Hey, what's going on, buddy? How are you? I'm doing good, man. How are you? I'm doing swell, my brother. Uh, Jim Green here, along with my co-host, my best friend, Anthony Irvin. Uh, how was your Memorial Day weekend, man? Uh, it was good. Uh, pretty pretty low-key for the most part. Uh, we were planning really to just have a chill weekend. And uh, little Anth on Saturday, he's like, I want to have a barbecue. And we're like, well, I guess we're doing a barbecue then. So, <laughs> you know, we, we just gathered up the fam we did a, bar- a little small small little barbecue on sunday a little soiree yeah a little soiree yeah <laughs> I, I thought i was screwed with the grill because uh the uh thing wasn't igniting at first and i realized that for some reason the propane was already uh on and i had flipped it off thinking that it was i was turning it on lefty loosey righty tighty Left, come yeah. on man so, so i'm like wait how was this thing on all the time and i wasn't smelling any propane but then again it was outside blah blah blah. you probably can't smell anything but um yeah i never I smell anything a, when we're outside i, I hope outside. that wasn't the case i hope that wasn't the case <laughs> yeah. but maybe i was just you know going like this and that and then just you know i just lost my direction of which one was which but uh i ended up you know twisting it back the other way and we were good so because i wanted to make sure that i had propane because last the last uh you know time i used the grill or one of the last two times i you know started kicking up the grill two minutes later propane goes out i'm like damn it (laughs) so we had to go to the wawa and pick up new propane which was awesome because i used to go to the uh ace hardware and just you know refill the propanes but now I know that you can go to the Wawa and just, you know, take your propane tank, put it in there and you get a new one. So I'm like, and it's for cheaper. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go here. So I just do that now. Well, and where you live, like your Wawa is like right there and literally, literally right there. Yeah. And so it, it was Harlow a lot better is a lot further of a trek for you. Not a lot, but nah. I mean, it's what, maybe an extra five so it's not too bad. I mean, it's, it's, it's a nice place, but yeah, I mean, and then I don't think they always have somebody out there for the for the propane. So you have to always make sure you that person's out there because I don't think everybody can do that. And you and you can't do it yourself, you know, so yeah. so all all was good with the um, the grill this time. But I think it, it's we've had that grill since the apartment days in like 2012, 2013, all the way up to 2016. So it's had its years i took out the bottom like shelf uh which everything just falls down onto and <laughs> i opened it it had this big mold thing on it so i'm like oh okay i'm gonna wash that off so ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> so go down to the bottom of the, the uh 
down off the deck, take the hose, spray it all off. And, uh, you know, some of thinking, OK, maybe it's just a whole bunch of stuff that's on there. Maybe the igniter had some crap on it. So I tried to clean off as much as I could. But I think it was just the fact that the propane tank was already on it. It got flipped off or something. So it was good. And I think uh, uh, for not doing the grill in like the last year it was the quickest that I've done. I did chicken turkey burgers and burgers and hot dogs i think it was the quickest that uh time that i was able to do everything i think i was done maybe like an hour yeah i mean especially after fidgeting with the propane you were probably like all right people are hungry <laughs> like, yeah let's, and, you know let's people get are just this going and people had just got there so i'm like well let me at least try to start cleaning stuff off because you know jen's like well people just got here it's the appetizers i'm like well let me just at least get the grill cleaned off and everything so then by the time that's all done like the prep work's done then you know people should be ready to start thinking okay let's just start getting the the food food going so after all that started going down, I'm like, all right, well, thank God I started doing it early because then it would have taken another two hours to get everything done. And you were like, little tone, do you see all this that we're doing right here? Yeah. Do you see all this? <laughs> <laughs> do you see what your dad is doing? <laughs> you better learn, son. <laughs> thank you, daddy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But now nah, he had fun. He, he enjoyed it. So uh, your brother he, had he, the kids over. Yeah, so we had all the kids together, and Anthony just started having hot dogs. We just started introducing him to, like, hot dogs and everything. So he'll, you know, cut them up into small pieces and everything, and uh, you know, he, he, he likes them. He will ha- he doesn't like burgers too much. I, mean, I think it just depends where you get them from. If you get them from, like, the fast food stuff – Usually he will have like a bite, but he won't have a whole burger. He'll want to have one of yours, not his own. Of course, you know, toddlers, they eat all your food. <laughs> um, <laughs> I haven't had a cold meal in three years. <laughs> three years. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, it was good. And then, you know, at the actual Memorial Day day yesterday, obviously, but um, it was just, you know, with the weather and everything being, you know, off and on showers. It was just more of like a, uh, a relaxed day, get everything kind of cleaned up and, uh, you know, ready for, you know, the work day for, for the next day. So how about, how about you? I know you were out of town. We were off the grid, which was mm-hmm. super needed. Um, just with like, where I am with my work schedule right now, it, uh, like recitals coming up. Um, yeah. Lots of planning, lots of things happening, but all of the studio directors, like everyone that I work for was like, yeah, no, we are all taking off Memorial Day weekend. Everyone go decompress for a couple minutes and then, See you Tuesday, and then we jump yeah. right back into it. Um, right, which was fine because, like, today I woke up in the morning, I was like, okay, time to jump back into the swing of like navigating all of the things. Mm-hmm. Um, but where we go, yeah, it's hours and hours away from home, um, which is one of the nicer parts, obviously, like the getting like the commute to get there, it's. Um, I don't know. It's, it's like doing any trip more than a couple times. And then you're like, okay, we know what this is. Mm-hmm. And like mentally you can approach it and be like, yeah, it's a five or six hour drive or a two to three, four hour drive. And you just get good with it. And you, you plan it and you say, what time of day are we leaving? What time are we getting there? Do we have any part of the day left after we get there? Mm -hmm. Right. Which we've done all of the things. This was actually our first time we were coming home early and it was, um, you know, yesterday, just the way it worked out with um, her family leaving when they were leaving. And we were like, okay, we want to get home uh, and pack up some stuff because we are, in the process of relocating. Right. Yeah. Um, so we were excited to come home and kind of navigate like, 
hey, we got stuff to pack up or stuff to move to mm-hmm. where uh, we're mo- like where we're moving to. Right. You got to go. You got to <laughs> go. Um, but yeah, it was one of the more exciting. I mean, I, like I'll speak for Cheyenne and say it was she was the most excited on this trip coming home because she knew what we were coming home. To, right. Like we had for things sure. to look forward to once we got back here. Um, yeah. But in my mind, I was just like, OK, let's do this today. And then. Tomorrow, I have to reset my brain back to like, okay, I got like this work stuff that I got to navigate for, yeah. um, which is totally cool because I had the few days away over the weekend to just literally be away and try to disconnect. We got there. We got there Friday night and my mind was still racing about things from here and Chai was like, uh-huh. We're we're here. We're physically away. And that stuff that's on your mind will be there when we go home. Mm. Relaxation. Relaxation. Right? Um literally <laughs> can still see you jumping up on the trampoline uh at your neighbors across from your parents. Uh-huh. And you still doing that and just dropping <laughs> literally challenging gravity. With the relaxation, drop, drop, right? Drop, drop. Dude, drop, drop. drop. Dude, drop. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Um, yeah. Overall, not to like keep this going on, um, a great time away. I finally got my mind to settle and stop thinking about all the things. Yeah. I, I literally got to a point where I was watching the Phillies Friday and yeah, they lost and it wasn't cool. And then like, I was trying to watch the Phillies blow out a game mm-hmm. against the Rockies and they should have won. And I'm like, what are we doing? And it's because like the Phillies are on such a hot streak, right? Uh, well, they were on such a hot streak and now, we're recording this uh, late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. They're mm-hmm. playing the Giants, and for all I know, it was double goose eggs going into the seventh inning. And I'm like, I don't even want to pay attention if they're going to keep looking the way that they've been looking for the past week. Yeah. And um, so anyway, something so little and dumb, not dumb. I shouldn't say dumb. Something so minute on my radar really just drugged me down for a second. And I was in a like an overwhelmed state of mind that I was just like I was trying to see straight. I was trying mm. to function and like I was upset because I was upset. I was mad at myself for being agitated. Like Dude, get a grip. Come on, man. Right. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're known for like our minds going a mile a minute. Like we're especially in the line of work that we do. And, uh, you know, from a dance and a music standpoint, we're always thinking like two and three and five, ten steps ahead of anything we're trying to do. Dude, I've been getting this annoying itching feeling under my armpits from the deodorants I've been trying and using, and I can't seem to find something that works for me. Have you ever tried maybe like a natural deodorant? Natural deodorant? Uh, no. Are you insane? No, but I am wild. Oh, uh-huh. wild is the UK's number one natural deodorant company that focuses on performance, sustainability, and style. Their mission is to clean up the bathrooms by leaving it free of ugly, single-use plastic bottles and unnecessary chemicals. You know why Wild is great? Because it actually works and it's eco-friendly and contains over 98.5% natural ingredients. They have a fully sustainable design with aluminum cases that last for a lifetime, plus biodegradable, recyclable refills. And you know what's cool? They can actually imprint your name on these aluminum cases for a small additional fee. 
Wild is super convenient with flexible subscription options or paying as one-off purchases. And you can customize your order by choosing your case, color, and various scent combinations. I know I have the Ocean Mist, the Fresh Cotton and Sea Salt, and the Orange and Neroli flavors. And they all smell super great. And what's best about them is they don't just wear off immediately. And then all of a sudden, you smell like B.O. Yeah, I've been rocking the sandalwood and patchouli scent right now. And again, great scent. Last like throughout the day that you know you're pretty much protected throughout the day and i also was able to try the mint and aloe vera big aloe vera fan right on point long lasting and you can look forward to uh these cases and scents in a limited edition every month Go wild today with a special discount of 25% off your first order when you get the code one set pod at checkout. Go to wearewild.com and use the code one set pod at checkout and enjoy. So let's talk about this thing that you sent me earlier. And you can clip this in if you want. Yeah. But I also drew it out. It's this thing. Yes. Let's. That's perfect for this. It's literally everything that we're talking about. Right? Yes. Absolutely. Because and that tr- can be like zoomed into a lot of different things. So, yeah. I mean, what we were talking about before we jumped on here, like Shine and I apartment searching, and it was like, hey, I can get us a nicer place it will cost more and we will be working ourselves to be able to afford it Mm -hmm. and then not be able to live in it and appreciate it right right so it was like okay what i first started with like mentally before i thought about that was you pay with your time you pay with your money right Mm -hmm. if you don't have one you get to do the other thing, right? (laughs) Um, Which Mm -hmm. for someone like me that like, uh, hey, as an artist, as someone that followed my dream, as someone that I love a lot of my life because I pursued avenues that brought me um, happiness that like really just filled my soul entirely. Mm -hmm. I didn't care about the money I and I didn't and I don't care that I'm literally saying like I don't have much of it um but I have the other two things quality and time quality Mm -hmm. and time you know um so yeah while I try to improve the money thing I'm losing out on the other two things in one way shape or form it's a very real thing yeah, you, know? you you what they said. You definitely can't have all three. That you, it you got to have two, and you got to give up one of them. So there, it's like you know you can you can have all the money, you can have a good quality of life or the quality of you know the uh, place you're in, but it you're gonna have to sacrifice time because if you have all that, you're giving up a lot of your time in order to keep in that money grab and everything. Well, but if you give away the quality and you have a little more time, then you, uh, you're you not really – it's like a, being a musician or a dancer. You're following your dreams. You're putting a lot of quality and time into your art and craft, but you're not going to have the money right away. The money's not going to come to you right away. No. <laughs> um, not at all. If, if it did – Life would be easy. (laughs) Life's not meant to be easy. It's a journey. Not at all. And it comes with challenges. So when it's hard, it's like, okay, navigate it. Figure it out. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about rich people because maybe they have all three. And when I say all three – Let's be fair. Let's talk. Let's talk about people. People that are born into money. Mm -hmm. They they probably have all three. 
And when I say all three, I mean they have money and time. Yeah. And I bet you the quality is... Yes, they have everything at arm's reach here and there, yeah. but there's way less appreciation because they're not working for these things. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Right? And that's just um, my take as a poor guy. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I do believe that there are people out there that have all three of these things and they've worked and earned it. Okay? Um, but let's talk about our... Let's talk about our favorite, most successful person ever who came from nothing. And I don't know that he has the time end, but he's definitely got the other two. Mm -hmm. And I, I was just talking about like, hey, people that were born into money. They might have the money and the time, but they don't have the quality because of appreciation, right? Yeah. Dwayne Johnson. There you go. Okay. So without asking you to guess, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, I think he is someone that I look up to that in a sense of like, this guy is making the most of his time. I was going to say, he definitely has the time. Like he makes the most of his time the, and he's always talking about like getting up at three four o'clock in the morning working out doing this then going to a movie shoot uh, okay then i gotta do this like the dude just doesn't sleep <laughs> and if he does it's probably for like an hour <laughs> well and it's also like he's keeping himself busy mm -hmm. right um which i feel like some people do because when you have the time available, other people will see how available that you are. And then they start coming in and encroaching in on your time. Yeah. And it's like, you know, I'd rather go and work. I'd rather be too busy to be doing all of this Whoopsie. for everybody else. Yeah. Like, nope. Ain't got time for that. <laughs> and I was even thinking maybe this could be a swerve to how this graph is. The fact that, we take it as like, oh, quality and time, and maybe you don't have the money, but maybe in his uh, term, it's more like he already has the money, so he doesn't have to worry about the money aspect because he already ha he's already been put at that totem pole of how much money he already has, so he can, you know, he doesn't have to worry about the money money portion. He can put more time into the time and quality portion of that uh, that triangle. Yeah, and I also think that he has enough money where he can just invest his time in promoting quality of life yeah. and, and saying, hey, I can be this busy and navigate all of these things and still find time to be a dad, which, like, you don't see that. <laughs> like, he totally leaves that out of the public eye, which... Mm -hmm. I applaud and yeah. respect, right? Definitely. Um, you know, there's no way he's doing all of the things that he's doing, and he's just this guy that's there and not putting in the time with his family. Like, he makes it work. And we talked about our dads getting up really early in the morning, and part of that isn't – a big part of that isn't because they love to wake up early. Yeah, it's because they get up early to just have time for self processing before they mm -hmm. have to navigate the day. Mm hmm. Right. It's, it's something, just something you you build into, like you know you like you said you know you don't like doing it, or it's something that like oh I enjoy getting up, and like you it's like that's just the internal clock that they've built into themselves. Like okay, you know this is what I'm doing. This is my routine. This is how I start my day before I start putting in, you know, that and in getting into that work mode. This is what I need. To, this is the routine that I need to do. Yeah. Well, they want to collect themselves mentally and do like take time for themselves at the start mm -hmm. of their day. You and I don't know 
that kind of life because we're night owls, right? Mm -hmm. We're like our decompress, our mental stability, our us time is right now. It's like 109 in the morning, right? Yeah. This is where we're like, okay, this is where I get to collect my thoughts for you having an almost four year old and not even a, like, I mean, um, Grayson, he's going to be five months in literally in like a little uh, over a week, uh, like once this publishes in a couple of days or yeah. in a week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So your day starts and you're like, okay, I got to get up and be dad to like these youngsters. And then you go to work, you come home, you're a family guy. And then this is your time right now. Yeah. Um, I always wondered like, Wow, why does my dad get up two hours before work? <laughs> <laughs> but I've been I get it. <laughs> I've I've been awake late enough into the night where he's come downstairs and I'm like, Hey, he's like, Yeah, good morning. Yeah, hey. Yeah, hey. <laughs> he's literally throwing me the sniff. He's like, don't talk to me. <laughs> My deadbeat son over here is so awake from yesterday. <laughs> it's it's just I think that he's found his routine and again for sure. My dad is approaching retirement. He's almost there. I don't know your dad is probably very happily there. He's he's there, but he's still mentally not <laughs> if that makes sense like he he he's pretty much at that point but he still has that clock of like you know work 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 because he I mean he's known that since he was you know our age that, that's teenager. like all they, yeah, yeah our so age. that's all our they age. Yeah. our age yeah <laughs> like we he wasn't sitting around doing a podcast at 37 years <laughs> I gotta get up in the morning. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Um, I'm just following um, in my dad's footsteps. No, you're not. <laughs> please. They they literally look at us and they're like, "Okay, you're making the best of your life right now. Good luck with that." When inflation kicks up again, <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could talk into a microphone for an hour and talk about nothings and. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could jump on and say, hey, do we want to do another impromptu episode again? Uh, <laughs> whoopsie. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you want to talk about how I'm going to find out how I can make uh, make sure my family eats again? Yeah, that's a one hour podcast. There you go. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, if our dads did a podcast and they'd be like, wow, where to begin with what went wrong with our sons over here? We we got to do it eventually. I know we wanted to try to do it. Event. We wanted to do it like a, a mom podcast episode, a dad pod. We definitely, if we don't get the mom, if we don't get our moms on, we got to do the dads. We got to do that eventually. Even if it's not on Father's Day, we got to do, because I think that's just going to be a fun episode just for everybody to just see how our dads are like similar and different, but they come from like similar backgrounds and have like the same work ethic, similar but backgrounds. Yeah. The same work ethic in thing is where they're going to be like, okay, you're wasting my time doing this podcast. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> It'll probably be the shortest, like, podcast, yeah. like 15 minutes. Right, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> they'll be they'll, they'll be they'll be 15 minutes in and they'll be like we still doing this i got other things to do uh, all right yeah he literally was like all right, all right, can we wrap this Whoopsie. up like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i oh, gotta go to delaware play the number i gotta <laughs> my dad's like i gotta go to delaware to pick up beer and wine they're like that too we got <laughs> to do <Yeah. laughs> Oh and my it's, God. A, it's a it's the same thing and uh on the fact that you know you were saying like why does my dad wake up uh two hours early before he has to, has to really get up 
<laughs> I now understand in the sense the same thing as why my dad spends so long in the grocery store. He's like, this is the only time I get to myself. Like, leave me the f- alone. Like, <laughs> Dude. Like, I get it. But so, um, cause like our, our inside joke is like, you know, oh, where's dad? He's like, oh, he's at the food store. Like, oh, I'll see him tomorrow. Like, because <laughs> he just he's just literally there for hours. And I'm like, I get it. Like, that's uh, just like your decompressed uh, way of just being like, OK. I'm, I'm out here doing my thing. Uh, I'll be back. <laughs> I mean. Picked up the keys, met the new landlord and. I told her that Shine and I worked opposite schedules and she was like, perfect. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, you get it. <laughs> you get it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, look, um, we are s- immensely excited about um, the new place that we're moving into, obviously. Um, and through the summer, there will be there's more opportunity where I will be working kind of a similar schedule because I'll be teaching less. Mm -hmm. Um, And then I will get to get excited about September where I get to work the evenings again. (laughs) (laughs) And then, and then I'll be like, you want to go to the grocery store? You want me to? And then if I get to go, I'll be like your dad and be like, yep. This is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. And just like you said, like you guys lived on your own before, but now it's like, you know, this is like your baby that you like you guys have something together now to be able to like, you know, you have your own place and everything. So it's like, okay, now you'll definitely be able to be like, okay, now I'll need my time to kind of do my thing, her time to do her thing. And, you know, uh, I I'm I'm a, I'm just very excited for both of you guys. It's gonna be uh you know, awesome for you guys. Can't wait to see the place in person. Thank you, brother. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, congratulations to both of you guys. Uh, thank you so, so much. And I mean, all of that being said about like catching time for yourself, um, we are excited to have time for us in our own place. I mm-hmm. mean, n- Barely anybody knows about like us coming together and like our journey. And it's been three and a half years that we've been together. Um, Mm -hmm. So we have looked at this, like this is our actual beginning. Yep. Um, It's, it's something that um, I've, hardly been able to process yet because I have so many other things going on right now. Yeah. And I think it's just like, hasn't fully hit you yet. It, no, it, no, it, it, it doesn't. It, t- it takes a little bit, but when, when, like I said, like when it hits you, you'll know, and it's going to be good. It, yeah. It's going to be, it's a good feeling. And like I said, where this is settling into my timeline with like work and stuff, it's tough right now, but, I'll have a solid amount of time to transition into this new life that I'll be living. Um, And I think, and like most importantly, um, we'll have a space of our own and we'll be able to appreciate everything else around us a lot more, which is something Again, I just haven't really had the time to process it. Like Mm -hmm. this past weekend, being away and decompressing, it was decompressing from work stress and life stress and just trying to say, hey, shut it down, man. Just. Yeah. And saying, okay, when I get back, it's I've got these work things to tend to and I got to navigate them. And at the same time, it's like, okay, I also have to navigate the move. Like, I I probably won't really appreciate us being settled in until after a week or two, maybe a month. A month is a stretch. But 
at the uh, most, I'd say. One, like I said, once you finally get everything in there settled and it's homey, that's when you'll get it. Talk to me about um, like you guys moving from your apartment into the home that you're in now. Like, how long did that take for you guys? Because uh, you, you had a like a smaller apartment situation, and now you have yeah. like a home with more room. Yeah, uh, I mean, you you helped with a little bit of the move, and that really helped us to get a lot of our stuff in. And you know, by that weekend, we were pretty much you know moved in and everything just kind of you know doing some small little knickknack things but you know the whole oh this is my home type of thing it was a little different because i was already on my own so i kind of knew how that feeling was but i guess this time it was more like oh we have all this room now and you know we have different we only we it's like you're going into a bedroom then going into a living room to a kitchen now you can go into a den go out to a deck you have all this uh you have you know the two bedrooms up top and so it's a lot more space and everything and then you can kind of just start thinking like oh well maybe we can do something to this room we can do that to that room and this will become you know eventually the kids room or like kid at that point and then kids and you know so you had a lot wiggle of- room to like yeah have, have options for choices right and, and now it's to the point where like we have no more room <laughs> to, put the, <laughs> to put anything in this house because we are bombarded with toys and stuff. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> to the point like we need to move again to move all our Whoopsie. into another house. <laughs> but I mean, we're 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 blessed with where we are. I mean, can't can't really. Uh, complain we have great neighbors here uh you know no it's it's just been really good and like i said my mom was the one that actually saw this place because we weren't really looking at places with an hoa fee because we figured okay extra payments we're thinking the same thing as you guys like if we can eliminate a an extra payment then we're like cool but the hoa fees for this were very like very very low and we didn't see them at other places we're like all right, let's just at least check it out. Checked it out. You know, uh, we saw that it had the deck. It had the extra den because not a lot of the extra houses here have that extra thing outside of their kitchen. Usually it's the kitchen and then it goes right out to the to the deck. So this one had the extended area on there. And then this one has a finished basement. Not many of them have the finished basements. We we saw one down the street and that was it seemed like the layout was very a, a lot more uh smaller and you know contained where this was a lot like you the other one you walked into a hallway where this one you walk into the big living room so yeah. it it really uh when you're eventually house shopping you know the the layout of the house really plays a role in what you like about it you know it's so it's, it's a lot of different things because uh, and it's funny because my dad just when we were starting to look for houses and stuff, he just uh, had me and Jen go to a, a like one of like the Cambridge Square places back really long ago. And he just dropped us off. He's like, all right, go in there and, uh, and I'll I'll pick you up later. We're like, we don't know what we're doing. He's like, you'll find out just to go to go go check it out. I'm like, what am I looking for, though? Like your dad was literally like uh go do your thing wolves figure it out yeah i'm like what do i like what do i look for he's like just go in there not like you're gonna sign anything just go in there and do what you gotta do i'm like but what is it like i'm gonna be like oh nice furniture like (laughs) so but now that actually going in years later you're like okay the typical is like, okay, how's the plumbing and all this other stuff. And uh, like all the adulting type of questions you have to go looking for and stuff. But we, we had very nice people uh, that lived here before where he was an electrician and he was able to just 
go A through Z with me through the whole house and kind of showed like how he routed everything and like, oh, this plug goes into this. And if if, you know, the lights go out, this is all all that stuff. I still don't know where half the stuff goes into, but uh, to the point, like you have to figure it out. And uh, but they were all very nice people and they, you know, made the transition very smooth and everything. So, uh, yeah, just being into a bigger house and, you know, going from a smaller apartment into a bigger house is definitely, you know, different things. And I think it's just more of like, you're knowing that you're continuing to build up. Uh, it's like, you know, again, I always try to relate it back to music. Like, you know, you're always hitting your plateaus of like, okay, you you're playing at your open mics and small little venues, then you're moving into bars and then you move up to the big venues and stuff, you know? So you're, you're always continuing to, hit more plateaus and make yourself better and you know you eventually get into the places you want to go so you know eventually down the line we want to eventually get into a single home house so that's like the eventual goal so uh eventually down the line that's our ultimate goal to just you know be in a single family home yeah and i mean her and i have talked about um her mom actually has a spot up near like the cabin that we stay at uh, with our boyfriend. And Mm -hmm. it's one level with a basement. It has a garage. It has a nice yard. And we literally just said on our way home, like she said it to me later last week. And I said it like coming home. I think yesterday I was like, that's, that's literally all that we need because you get a bigger place. The more room that you have, the more maintenance you have to worry about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, so I was like, um, her and I don't have like intentions of having kids. Mm-hmm. Um, that doesn't mean that in the next five years we'll be like, Oh, we want to. Right. right. Um, see how life moves but exactly um yeah i mean this first step of getting a small place and being like hey we're gonna start here and then probably upgrade to like a little bit bigger of an apartment but in the meanwhile being like okay we need to stock money away to invest in our future Mm -hmm. and I, i i think that that's like that priority is the real big, like, Hey, when we're talking about starting our life together, and this is like real personal stuff that I'm putting out here, obviously. Um, but we're just really happy to be taking the step. And, um, there's going to be a lot of changes and a lot of things along the way. Um, obstacles this and the other and i'm trying amidst where i'm at with recital season and this and the other like trying to navigate that stuff i'm trying to be like hey these obstacles are here and i'm trying to just stay level-headed and be like keep it cool let's figure this out like this Mm -hmm. i was telling you before we started recording about the one thing and i was like that was Super ungrate, ungrate, uh, not great. (laughs) Um, but I'm like, we all run into like these little obstacles. Yep. Day to day, week to week, and it's like when you think that you have an even keel, smooth moment. Hey, let me throw this shit at you, right? Um, Oh yeah. So, and you will know that probably better than me because you've been doing this real world stuff a little longer than I have. Um, I was going to say, just being a homeowner, that's like a, you're going to run into things that break down. You get this, you get that. And it's, it's never always like a peaceful thing. There's always, like they said, homeowners, it's always like you're, you're always fixing something in a house. And at least with the apartments, that was the only thing that I kind of miss is the fact that you didn't have to worry about paying for any of that. You can just be like, hey, this is going wrong. 
you guys fix it okay we'll be over there but then you have you're at you're um at the mercy of whenever they come out depending on what that thing is at least with the house if we know something's not right or we have to fix something well, you fix we it have at, total control yeah you fix it at your convenience yeah, yeah. Sure. so it i mean pros and cons to anything pros and cons to everything <laughs> yeah for sure but yeah man uh I, i'm totally stoked happy and proud for you guys Thank uh you. you know next chapter in you guys uh you know journey uh all the love and all the best to you guys with it you know yeah, I recall a time that I was sitting here and telling you um, that we had actually gotten a house and you threw both arms up and you were so happy. And I was like, yeah, no, we're actually moving back into our parents. And you're like, oh, that's cool, too. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Too, yeah. <laughs> um, but it's actually happening. So it's good. Yeah, no, we are um, taking a step in the direction that we are ready to do. And, and that's what you got to do. You know I mean? It, especially like you said, you don't want to, you know, just put all your eggs in one basket and then be like, Oh, well, damn. Now we have no, we, ha- we had this house that we're just scrounging by to pay for. Then you're going to be depressed. It's going to ruin everything. So it, yeah. uh, you guys have the storage. You guys have whatever you guys need you're perfect and then you can be able to save up wherever you're going and you know just work from there you guys are doing the right thing yeah we we have it's just um people apartment hunt all the time yeah and we know because another family member of ours has been looking for like six months and it's like they've been just missing with all of their applications and stuff. Mm -hmm. And this was like the first place that we found and we got approved and yeah, there's things to iron out there. It's not super perfect. um, Right. But like I said, we're going to navigate moving forward. um, And it's the right fit to try to meet the triangle with quality time and money to make it all make sense. Right. And it's, it's just, it's right. It's correct. And outside of like, yeah, this time of year for me is like super busy. It's also like, (laughs) it's also like, okay, I'm busy, but I have all these other things that I'm trying to navigate. And guess what? I'm going to do the best that I can to navigate all of these things. And in a matter of a few weeks, it will be totally different. Yep. So, And you'll look back and you're like, wow, I was going through a lot at that point. But now you'll be able to sit at home, relax, and be like, ah. Yeah, I... I had a guy real relaxation (laughs) real. I had a guy tell me once um, he and his wife got pregnant and they were like, how are we going to navigate life with a kid? And then a year later, if that had a second one, Mm -hmm. um, he got a vasectomy and then his wife wound up pregnant with twins and they were like, how are we going to do this? This guy literally said to me, we didn't know how we were going to do it every single time, but we just figured it out. You adapt. You just adapt. And you're just like, yeah, hey, don't let life crush you. Just roll with it. Roll with we the felt, punches. We felt the same way with... <laughs> when before Grayson was here, like, you know, hey, I mean, it's it's just, you know, going through diapers again, more food because he, he's going to start uh, having food now in another week or so. Doctors just approved that he can start doing food now. So we'll be, you know, it'll be adding more to your groceries, doing this and that. And you're always thinking, like, how are we going to do it? But 
you just adapt. You just you adapt. adapt. Anything in life, you just adapt to it. And, you know, sometimes it works out. Sometimes you're in a a bit of a, you know. Like a hole. A yeah. hole. And yeah. you, you just continue to dig yourself out of those holes and, you know, ride the wave. And, you know, until, you know, your next, you know, building block situation comes up, you know. And, you know, it's good to have somebody you know, with you to be able to continue to go on those, uh, you know, dips and holes and building blocks. And, you know, uh, again, that's life. I mean, not to bring up all of your personal stuff, but like, dude, December of 2023 for you. Come on. Yeah. And, and, I, I was just and, thinking and look, that. And look where you are now. Like, yeah. Six months it later, was, you got through that like, t- like yeah, tooth and nail. You literally were just like, "I'm doing this." And yeah, like one one of the worst things that could happen to a family. And I'm like, "Hey, uh, this is one of those times that you you have to just step up, do what needs to be done." You know, I literally spent all of December on a computer making sure we had this making sure we had that in place and all that and then you know now five six months uh out from all that you know back to a little more comfort i'm back with the company been back uh since january you know so life is a little bit more stable now again so it's good and you know back in december you were also like jem was eight almost nine months pregnant so it's yeah. like we're really waiting weeks. Weeks. and we're like okay we're like uh again i was like freaking out because it, it's one thing if uh we weren't in that predicament we'd be like okay you know we just have to deal we got to deal with but we were welcoming our second son into the world with that too so i'm like this couldn't have came at the worst time yeah but again you adapt you know because you know uh you know, my mom was always saying, like, I, like, how are you keeping so calm in all these things? I'm like, there's no there's no point to continue to bask in like worrying a, well, like, and like crying about this, worrying about that. Like, you just got to like in a way, suck it up and just do what you got to do to, you know, get to the next thing. Like, OK, what's the most important thing you got to do? Got to, you know, get health insurance. You got to start, you know potentially you know you got to get unemployment got that all done so you know within that week i was already you know getting all those things put together so at least we had i had some type of money coming in and then you know then tackling all that stuff so it's like there's no point to try to continue to you know be crying about it because nobody's going to care about uh how many times you cried uh you know you got to just you know suck it up what happened happened and you got to keep moving you know our friend uh tom segura he said when someone asks you how you're doing there's two answers one is good and the other one is fine because you're not about to be out here burdening anybody else with your own life shit because that is, nobody cares about it. <laughs> that is rude and selfish. And how dare mm-hmm. you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I mean, nobody cares about uh, the <laughs> I, this came up to my mind that there was a local band and one of their lyrics was nobody cares if you're sad in this world. And I'm like, yeah, that hits pretty hard. Yeah, <laughs> that was uh, it definitely is uh, something because that I. Uh, it, it is a lot of true meaning to it, but you know, n- nobody cares about your sob stories. You just got to continue to uh, keep taking the punches, get back on your feet and figure out how to get yourself out of the hole. And that's what essentially happened. And, you know, we're better off on it today. And you can now look back on it to be like, wow, how do we get through that? Yeah, I think for Cheyenne and I, it's our biggest thing uh, as of late. And this is going six months back specifically, but 
we look over the other three years that we've been together and it's like, Hey, some days I'm going to be 80% and you're going to be 20%. And then there are going to yep. be days where it's flipped. A hundred percent. Yeah. And it's some days. Yeah. It's tough, but like, I feel like that's a huge testament to love is knowing when your other person is down and being able to be like, okay, I'm strong enough that I can pick them up and help carry them through this day. Right. Right. Um, And it's, it's interesting when we reflect back on all of it, where it's like, there's not a lot of days where both of us are really, really down and out. There's also not a lot of days where both of us are really up and up. (laughs) <laughs> um uh-huh which stinks um but those days do exist and um i feel like they get overshadowed maybe because it's like wow how did we just have like a smooth sailing really good day <laughs> and then just mm-hmm. go to the next one um it's usually there's something um in our way but also that might just be um a testament to like our strength or lack thereof of like our mindsets like where hopefully in our new place that we can help fix i think for you your mom asking how how are you holding yourself together through all of this is just a testament to how mentally strong that you are seriously like it i'm just so proud of you all the time man um from the bottom I appreciate of my heart. It. Seriously. Uh, I, cause I was there as it was happening, not as it was happening, but I was there. Yeah. You were calling me. You're like, dude, I like scrambled just like I, I, and I was like, <sighs> it's something where, you know, someone that you love is going through a hard time and you're like, I wish mm-hmm. that I could just jump in there and save them. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, no, realistically, they just have to navigate the channels and work it out. And you literally did that. You literally did. And I, I did all my, you know, freaking out moments, all my tears and all like, what, how am I going to do this? And how am I going to do that? But then my next thing was like, how am I going to tell her? That was the, uh, you know, the phone call that I was dreading to eventually tell her. And, you know, so then, you know, then you just think about it again, you go through it and, you know, I can't imagine uh, I like, obviously you weren't trying to hang on to that all day so that you could just tell her in person kind of thing. No, Cause I was like, do I want to, you know, cause I'm like, all right, she's going on her break. Do I not tell her and wait till the end? But I'm like, this is something that I don't just wait all day and linger on that. So yeah. I got to tell her. And, you know, cause again, if, yeah, if but, both but, of us, but, if but both of, of us are, 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 if both of us are in like a, a bad setting with it, there's no point. One of us has to stay at some type of level. So that's where I'm like, okay, get all your stuff out now. And then once you're done, you know, tell the people you need to t- tell. And then, but like, Hey, you know, it was to the point where I'm like, I don't have any more, you know, emotions to feel from it. Now it's just more like, Hey, what do I need to do to get out of this mess now? Yeah. So. Well, and in that moment, maybe you were just like, okay, I have to tell my life partner, my partner mm-hmm. in crime with how I navigate the world around me, this thing that's going to make me feel very 20 and she's not going to feel 80 immediately, right? And instead of you settling at 20 and having to depend on her to be 80 forever, you were like, I'm going to be 20 in this moment and then I'm going to jump back up to 80 as fast as I can. And yeah. And that, and that was like, again, just your mental, uh, wherewithal, your, your, where <laughs> your, where your will, you went into straight survival mode. Right. 
and, and we're just like more or less. Yeah. I, mean, I, 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 I literally have to just do anything and everything that I can to cover all of my grounds. And I, I got, I got to experience you doing that. And, um, it just speaks volumes to like how awesome that you are and how proud that I am of you again. Um, uh, I appreciate it, yeah, because, I mean, in those things, I was like, okay, if I don't go back to work, then it's like, okay, how long do I ride unemployment? How can I, how long can I live off of this? And then if I do, I, because I think it was maybe my second or third week into getting unemployment, like, okay, yeah, this, I definitely need to start making a little bit more out of it, because, I mean, it's good that I'm making something. But it's not going to be enough. I and if I wasn't getting a call back, I was like, I need to get like a second. You know, I need to get like a pay, like a part timer doing something. So that was going to be my next step. But then I got a call to you know start talking about work again. So I'm like, all right, at least that's going in talking about that. But that right. was going to be my you know next step. Is like, okay, if they're not calling me, I'm going to be you know getting like some type of part time thing right right then and there to really uh you know start making some type of extra income but thankfully you know they started giving me a call and then within that then grayson was born so just like you i had so many things in my head but i'm like hey my son's born everything else doesn't matter i'm i'm here for you know my wife who just went through a very crazy birthing process and then, you know, I have my son who is literally hours <laughs> into his life. So I'm like, I'm not going to be bringing my negative energy, uh, not negative energy, but all my negative things that are running through me. Uh, uh, that has to go out the window and just be I, I need to be there for these two right now. You so, just eliminated the stressors. You you were like, uh, they can go take a hike. Because like you said, they're going to be there when you eventually get back to whatever. And then when you got back, you were able to navigate them, right? Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. once I got back from, you know, we got out of the hospital and, you know, we got, you know, uh, Grayson settled. Then I'm like, all right, <clears throat> now let me get back into this thing uh, and make sure I'm secured down with this. A couple weeks later, I'm back at work. So, you know, so one of the things like you know, when I think with you and me, uh, again, to sum everything up, what we've been talking about, we have a lot of things going on in our heads all the time, but sometimes we can uh, have a quick on off switch, but sometimes we have to be told to be like, hey, I, I know you're dealing with a lot, but you can settle it down right now. Like, you don't have to worry about it as much. But then we can also have that on off switch to ourselves too. Yeah, it's. Um... It's pretty crazy that I have one specific instance where my dad and I were going somewhere and he said, I've got a lot on my plate right now. One time that I remember him actually saying that where I'm almost 40 years old and I, he could, he could have said that every week for 40 years. And I remember one time where my dad was like, yeah, I just got a lot on my plate right now. Mm -hmm. And I, rem I remember him saying it to me in the most calm way possible, of course, right? Yeah. And meanwhile, I'm out here like complaining about so much small stuff, <laughs> right? Right. And um, yeah, just to tie, again, tie all this in, we're talking about quality of life, time and money, and... I mean, yeah, we're going to like Shine and I are going to be spending a little bit more money, but there will be elevated quality of life, which we are looking forward to. And yeah, I appreciate you and your support. Um, you know my journey more than like our audience for sure. Um, yeah. And like I've said, I've said it already to you. you know, I'm, I'm proud of you. It's been a long time coming. This is something you guys deserve. And again, 
happy for you, man. Couldn't couldn't be it couldn't be happening to, you know, a better person and a better, you know, couple. So Anthony, thank you uh so so much. That makes my heart really happy. Um shall we sign off? Yeah, man. Uh all in all, uh, you know, I think to sum up this, you know, with the quality, time, and money, you can't have all three, but I think you can have all three in different parts of your life. So I uh, I think that's where we can sum it up as like you can definitely have all three, but not all at the same time. You're going to they're just going to continue to change throughout your life. There's times you're going to have a lot of money, a lot of time, no quality, quality, time, no money, money, quality, no time. It's just going to be different parts of your life. And uh, just like we said, you're going to run into a lot of different things. It's just the way that you kind of, you know, work around them to get you back yourself back up out of those things. So thank you all for, uh, you know, tuning into this little Ted talk that we've had. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. So uh, it's been fun, man. Um, thank you for everything. And thank you for all the listeners and followers and supporters. Uh, if you haven't, if you're watching for the first time, make sure you guys are following us uh, on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, at onesetpod.com hit us up on our gmail onesetpod at gmail and uh, all our links are in our description come support the pod any way you want share with a friend family member all it helps out man uh all the love to you brother love you all the love to you and thank you this has been one set one set